Now, I know that when you go to conferences and events, everyone wants to put on a happy face. Normally, when you go to a conference, you want to get a B12 shot so you can run out there and you can be all excited. But the reality is our business is undergoing tremendous challenges right now. Would you agree with that? And if it wasn't the interest rates, the lack of inventory, the low affordability rate, and now you have all of these lawsuits and all these challenges and people are scared, they don't know what to do. And Tom talked about that this morning. The, six, the failure rate within our industry is astronomically high. And that's during the best of times. We did start the year with about 1.5 million realtors. And we are down at least 100,000. I think we're going to lose another two or 300,000 in the next year or two. I'm sorry. Look to the person next to you and say, I'm fine. I don't know about you. Go ahead. <laughs> Just messing with you all. How many of you would agree with this, that being a listing agent now is more important than ever before? What do you think? So listings have always been the name of the game. You guys know that, right? But the vast majority of agents, look, I'm going to be real honest with you, a lot of agents, especially newer ones, they lack the confidence to really pursue the listings. But I got to tell you, you guys that are working with buyers, you have been going through so many struggles over the past year with the lack of inventory, with interest rates sky high, and now... Some of you are probably wondering, will I even get paid working with buyers going forward? Does that cross anybody's minds here at all? Okay, nobody. So, okay, so pay attention to the lawsuits and maybe you'll feel that way. But yes, it is going to be even more difficult to be a buyer's agent going forward. So let's go get some listings because they grow on trees. Would you agree? They always have. See, I've used this illustration for many, many years now because I see this as a listing appointment. You're going into a listing appointment, and the listing you want is the sweetest fruit at the very top of the tree. Now, you're brand new, you're newer, you go there with a lot of enthusiasm and expectations, but you don't bring a ladder. Now, they interview two or three other agents, and the second agent brings a very long ladder because they've done this once or twice. The top producer backs up a cherry picker and goes, eh, eh, eh. So it is a struggle to go out there and get listings. And it's going to be even more of a struggle going forward because more and more people are waking up to the fact of, I need listings. So I have an idea to run by you. I believe that what you all should be doing Oh, this is a delayed, uh, there you go. Pre-foreclosures, write that down. Pre-foreclosures are the low-hanging fruit. Pre-foreclosures can make all of the difference between you having a successful business in 2024 and 25, or maybe looking into a new career. Now, here's the pushback I get. Tony, pre-foreclosures, you mean like, Short sales? Do you mean like people losing their homes? I, I, I don't know. I don't think I can do that. I go, why? Well, it's not really sexy. I get it. Does anybody here work luxury? Let me see the hands luxury. I can always tell. You know why? The luxury agents, God bless you, you're the ones doing the selfies. Now, here's what I found out after many years of working with agents and teaching them how to do short sales. I have never seen an agent take a selfie or do a reel in front of a short sale. Hey! You see this home back here? People are losing everything, man. Yeah! It's for sale. Take advantage of their heartache. Come on down. I got to tell you something. One of my good friends owns a luxury designation, and I envy him. Mine isn't sexy, but mine isn't crowded. This is an area for you to jump on. I came up with this meme because two and a half years ago when I bought the CDP course and designation, everyone thought I was crazy. People said, what are you doing buying a designation with foreclosures, man? We don't have foreclosures. There's no need for foreclosures because we have so much equity and 
in the United States. Have you heard that term already, equity rich? Have you heard about how much equity Americans have in their homes? Well, tell me if this makes sense to you. Having equity and being able to afford your payments are two separate issues, yes or yes. I don't care if you're sitting on 100 grand or $200,000. If you can't afford the monthly payments, if you fall behind on your payments, you can't tap that equity anyway. Now, here's the other thing I'm concerned about. Americans have been tapping the equity in their homes like ATM cards for the past two or three years, have they not? How many folks refinanced when it was only 2.5% interest? A lot. They refinanced more than once? A lot. Did they just take out a new rate in terms? No, they pull cash out a lot. What has come back that was gone for many, many years? HELOCs, home equity line of credit. People are borrowing against their homes to pay their bills. And this concerns me, but it's also an area of opportunity. Please write this down or take a picture of it. It could change a lot. Our job, your job, is not to motivate sellers to sell and buyers to buy. It's not. You know what your job is? Your job is to identify motivated sellers to, and motivated buyers. There's a difference. Now, you heard some great scripts and everything this morning. Tom is the best there is at what he does. But I've yet to see anybody come up with a really good script to motivate someone that has a 2.5% interest loan to sell that home and get into a new mortgage for 7.5%. I don't think that dialogue exists. You're not going to motivate them to do that. You are not going to change their minds to do that. So there's a different approach. Why don't you go after people that have no choice but to sell? Who has no choice but to sell? Many times it's a divorce. They have to relocate. And when somebody is behind on their payments and they cannot work something out with the banks, they either exit with dignity, write that down, exit with dignity, or they're shown to the curb by the sheriff. Now, what I propose going into this new year is that you folks become specialists within your business because we have 1.5 million general practitioners in our industry right now. How many of you would agree that the world, the United States, does not need 1.5 million realtors? Would you agree with that? Now, the vast majority of these agents do not specialize in a particular area or niche. So write this down, please. There's riches in niches. I want to share some stats with you very quickly because a lot of people will tell me, and yeah, they sound a fool when they say it. They go, Tony, there's no foreclosures. I don't even know what you're talking about. Take a look at this graph. It goes all the way back to 2008. We had the most foreclosures in this country back in 2009 and 2010 when all hell broke loose. Then you see the market got better, the situation improved, and it went down significantly. What happened in 2020? COVID hit. What happened when COVID hit? Moratoriums went to effect. And no one could foreclose on anyone. Now, half of this year, through the first six months of 2023, we already have more foreclosures than we had in all 2022, all of 2021, 2020, and we're now approaching pre-pandemic numbers. Foreclosure is real, folks. It absolutely is real. Take a look at these numbers, and I don't make these up. Go to adamdata.com. Adamdata.com. In September, the October numbers are not out yet. September, up 11% from the month before, up 18% from a year before. Numbers don't lie. Q3, this is what got the industry's attention. This is what I noticed that now the media is picking up on this up 28% from the quarter before, up 34% from a year ago. New York and New Jersey have been in the top five, top 10 of foreclosure states 
for the entire year, folks. There's people all around you right now struggling, not able to make their payments, and they don't know what to do. If I had more time, I would go into a lot more specificity about what's coming. I'm not trying to sound like the Grim Reaper. I know you came here to get happy. But don't worry, after you get out of here, you go smoke a joint, you'll feel better. But let me tell you something, folks. America's in a lot of debt right now. Have you guys picked up on that? Do you know that consumer debt right now is over $17 trillion? Do you know that credit card debt is at over $1 trillion? Do you understand that 62% of Americans are living paycheck to paycheck? That one-third of Americans that make over $150,000 a year are living paycheck to paycheck? That only 40% of Americans, when surveyed, have at least $1,000 in a savings account for an emergency? You have a lot of factors that are starting to build up. You haven't heard about the layoffs, but they're happening. Go to a website called dailyjobcuts.com. Dailyjobcuts.com. Keep an eye out for layoffs, especially in the areas that you service. Because when they lose their job, many times they're going to have to make a move. Again, not trying to bum you out, but to let you know that I was ridiculed when I launched, relaunched the CDPE, and now I've been called the visionary because people are saying, you were right. Look, I was right, but I was wrong about my timing. I thought it was going to be sooner, but the American consumer refuses to stop spending money. But now they are. They're maxed out. This has been our industry for many years right now. I can get on the phone right now with successful brokers. I bet you if you guys gave me your broker's name and number and they say, Tony, call him, call her, they'll deny that there's even a problem. I've had brokers say, no, Tony, I'm not going to have you teach my agents. And I go, why wouldn't you let me teach your agents how to make more money? Well, I don't want to bum them out. I don't want to talk doom and gloom stuff. And I go, what happens when things get bad? Well, we'll pivot then. Folks, you skate to where the puck is going, not to where the puck was before. If you don't think about this as an area that you should engage in, you're not going to be able to grow your business. How many of you do want to grow your business? Can I see the hands? Yeah, that's why you're here. Do you know that it's perfectly okay to grow your business by helping other people out of a jam? But here's the problem. How many of you, just on the surface, have a passion to help people that are in foreclosure? Look at options. Fantastic. But here's the thing. Please, don't take this the wrong way. Passion is not enough. Right? Commitment is not enough. Write this down. This has always been everything I believed in with sales. You have to know what to say. You have to know when to say it. You have to know how to say it. And then you have to go out and say it to as many people as possible. Will you agree with that? Look, there are specialists in many other fields. I specialize in distressed properties and in particular short sales. Do not confuse me with an REO guy. I am not an REO guy. I can't stand REOs. Because by the time it gets to the REO stage, the homeowner has lost the property. And they're going to suffer many, many consequences for many years. I want you to approach the people before they lose their homes. Does that make sense? I can train you on what to say, when to say it, how to say it, and then it's up to you to go out there and say it to as many people as possible. My course, bar none, is the best distressed property short sale training program out there. I mentioned short sales, and there are still people that believe that we don't have short sales going on in the country right now. Oh, yeah, we do. Ask anybody that bought their home in the last two, two and a half years at the very height of the market with very little down, ask them how much equity they have right now. You guys remember the forbearance agreements? When 8 million Americans said, okay, I won't make my payments if you don't make me. You know that all those missed payments were added onto the back of the loans. You know that, right? 
you know that they forgot about that. They're going to remember. So my course will teach you everything you need to know with a heavy emphasis on the short sale part. Keep in mind, write this down. The vast majority of Americans going through foreclosure right now have equity. If they have equity, why are they letting the bank take the home? Why don't they list with one of you guys and get out and cash out as much as they can? Does that make sense? All it is is a regular sale with urgency. But more and more short sales are coming, so I got you. I got the course, 23 modules online. I love online. You know why? You do it at your pace. It takes you about six and a half hours to get through it. So there's online. I have virtual live. I got a course coming up December 5th and 6th. Write that down, 5th and 6th. You know what I love about the virtual? It's, it's still you doing it from the comfort of your own home, but it's me teaching live so you can ask me questions. That's coming up over two days, December 5th and 6th. My course sells for $4.99. It includes the first year's membership in our, our club, the CDPE. Only $99 a year after that. Now, I'm going to skip over the benefits. They're a plethora. Yeah, you get a certificate. You get access to our forums. You get access to our community. You, but you can fi find a CDPE map. Yes, CDPs are sending referrals to each other. You guys get a special price because of the conference. It's only $3.99. For everything I just mentioned, you just have to either scan that in or go to cdpe.com. Make sure you use coupon code NEWU100. NEWU100, no spaces. NEWU100. Now, bonus time. Any of you guys that do it while I'm here in the next couple of days, you're going to get a two for one. There are those of you that say, I really want the Zoom class. I love the idea of being on the Zoom, but that's not till December. I want to start learning today. That's okay. I'm going to give you both for one. You'll get the online that you can start as of tomorrow, and then when, you, when the Zoom comes around, you're going to be there as well. How many of you think that's a pretty good deal? Two for one. Now, what you don't want to do is engage in this area and work with any old closing company or any old title company. That would be one of the biggest mistakes you would make. Right, Rudy? Let me tell you something. Rudy, is, right, Rudy said it. We're partners. I'm the first joint venture that Rudy ever did. And I've never looked back. And every single time I teach a class, people ask me, what's the most important thing I need to do? You need to partner with a title company that understands distressed properties and especially short sales. You don't want to experiment. You want a company that knows what they're doing. Any REMAX agents in the room? Because we're on their uh, REMAX University. That was a pretty proud moment for us. They did a survey, and they found that the more you learn, the more you earn. On average, agents in the REMAX system, they have the CDPE make 194000 a year. I know that's chump change for New York, but that's not bad, right? Now, I got one more thing for you, but wait. Help me out, but wait. All right, I'm in the conference business as well. I got this crazy idea to do a conference and call it the Riches and Niches Conference. It's coming up next year, four days, all virtual, so everybody in the country can see it. And here's my approach. One price, you get four designations. One price, you get four private designations. You get the CDPE, you get the CIAS, which is an investor one, you get the PPS, which is also one about pricing strategies, and then one on probate as well, which is one of the hottest topics. In addition to the designations, I have speaker after speaker after speaker, including my good friend David Kurz on there. Now look at the packages I came up with. If you just want the sessions only, you don't want the designations, only 149 for everything I listed there. If you want the designations, it's 799, but through January, it's 599. So here's what I'm thinking. If you're this close to signing up for the CDPE at 399, 
Just pay $200 more and get everything I just mentioned. And then I'll give you a three for one. If you sign up for the $5.99 for the conference, I'll give you the online CDP now. You can join me in December for the virtual, and then we'll see you online for the conference. Folks, that's all I got. What do you think? You learned a little bit? All right, folks, thank you so very much. And please give it up for Rudy and David for everything that they're doing to put this event on for you.